Oh, what's going on, guys? All right, so we're here. Um, what are we doing today? Today we are going to the Sixes. Oh, the Circus. There's a guy called Smokey Barbers. <laughs> From the name you can tell, he has something to do with here. So apparently he's going to be, or he's he's giving out free trims. So hopefully, I'm going to get a free trim. We'll see what I'm going. But boy, oh boy, it is icy as fuck. Today I'm on time, there should be no problems at the door, should be none. So yeah, looking to get a trim, nothing special, obviously leaving this on the top, but maybe a little something on the side. But I'm just thinking, yeah, I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking, like, I'm going to get my hair cut. You always think like, okay, this is the thing, you always think if you get your hair cut, yeah, from someone who's new, someone that's different, you don't know how it's going to turn out. So you're taking a big risk. Uh, man, them know, they know if you get a haircut by someone new, it's a big, big, big risk. Do you know what I mean? Because if they mess it up, that's it. <laughs> You've got to cover up your hair for a good, what, two, three weeks? So it will grow out. So this is a big risk I'm taking, but you know what? Like there was one time where um, I think my barber went in town and I went to some next guy and he done my hair sick. And you know when you get those, those like, how can I say? You get those reactions like, oh, oh, your hair's sick, who done your hair? And um, I've never had that with my normal barber. I don't really get that with my normal barber. When I went to this next guy, they're like, oh, your hair's sick, bro. So I'm kind of going for the same kind of reaction. Or I'm going for the same kind of thing. So you never know. Plus I'm going away, so no one will really see me. You know what I mean? So I can hide away, let my hair grow out. And then, yeah, but anyway. So guys, we are outside Pro Direct. Wow, too. That man, man just come out with a trim, you know, feeling fresh. You see how he just stands still? <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna check it out. It looks alright in here, isn't it? The setup's decent, fam. The setup's decent. Alright guys, so I'm out here, yeah? <laughs> Pro Direct. How tight them again. They always put on some good events, isn't it? I like it. I'm loving the orange and black though. You know what I mean? It's something I would actually rock. Obviously, I'm last. I'm last in the list, so I'm kind of lucky. I'm last in the list, so I'm kind of lucky. Um, so you can either, basically, you can either get a trim or you can get a shape up. So I don't know whatever. I don't know. And if you get a trim, you can only get a Nike. You can only get a Nike design on the side so I'm just trying to think what kind of design I want or would I want a shape up but I will let you know uh, in a little while patiently waiting it's patiently waiting I know and I'm looking forward to it like, I've seen a couple of his trims you know like how you can tell it's a good barber one by the number of uh, ethnics that are in there <laughs> it's true it's true though so one by the number of ethnics it obviously is just full it's filled filled to the brim a couple man do you know what I mean? And then two, like obviously you'll look, you'll look at the the level, the level of the trim. Do you know what I mean? And you'll see like the expression. What? Yeah, getting a trim is like so so important. It's the difference between you having a good a good week or a bad week. Do you know what I mean? If you have a, like a rubbish twin, uh, yeah. if you have a rubbish trim, you ain't gonna go out. You ain't gonna want to go out. You're gonna be like, you know what I mean, head down and that. But if you get a good trim, as soon as you come out of the chair, you'll know. You'll be like. Yeah. You'll be feeling yourself, do you know what I mean? So it's quite, it's quite interesting watching it from the other, or well not from the other side, but watching the guys, their reaction when they come out of the chair. So I got here on time, guys. Make sure you follow Pro Direct, Pro Direct London, Pro Direct hashtag hashtag, and obviously follow them on Twitter as well.
know you've got a good barber when they, when they educate you as well, when you're doing your trim. They tell you exactly it's the sign of a good barber. Contact Smokey Barbers as well. Obviously, he waited. I was the last guy. He still gave me a nice trim. Like I'll put, I'll put the images on, uh, on the video. I'll try and put it. I'll edit in it somehow. You know what I mean? But now, hold tight, Pro Direct again. Pro Direct. Hey, we need to do something. We need to partnership. I don't mind, man. I don't mind. When you're making me look like this, you're making me look this good. I can't complain. You know that old, that old myth. You know what I mean? Like you think it's, you just need a black barber to cut your, know, like black people's hair. It's, it's out the window guys I knew that before but you know what I mean like we're at a day and age now where anyone can do anything you know what I mean if you put your mind to it so you know what I mean I can't it's alright guys it's alright like I've just proven I've just proven to you you can do it as well if you need to go and get your hair cut from someone else it doesn't always have to be the same barbers it could be someone else do you know what I mean and right, look I took a chance here I am I'm still standing I'm smiling and I'm happy <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy, but um, yeah, no, no, it's a good look. It's a serious barber. Like, if you didn't hear, obviously, I don't know if I put it in the video, but if you didn't hear, he was saying about how um, he learned his trade. He learned how to cut hair on YouTube, like on YouTube. That's mad. So yeah, credit to him. Obviously, he's been cutting loads of people's hair in the music industry. He told me, and then also in the football industry as well. So you know, all I can do is wish him all the best. And boy. Hopefully I'll see him. I'm definitely gonna visit him again, 100%. Definitely gonna visit him again. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you that, that little two pence before I go, before I head back into the underground. All right, but if anything, I'll speak to you in a bit. Peace, I'm out. Pretty girl at a mercy. She said she with a friend curse. Hypnotize me and she curse me. They are not like me cause they thirsty. And she know what is mine is hers, uh, vice versa. And she know what is mine is hers, uh, vice versa. Yeah, mm. you're my fire, holding tighter. What's mine is hers, uh, vice versa. I believe, I believe you're the only one for me. I believe, I believe. Hey, them way there. I ain't gonna stop on the M way there. Cut through the lane when the M way's clear. Would you do the same, babe? Please say yeah, yeah, yeah. On my grind, a lot of money on my mind, and I got a bag of girls on my line. But I told them other hoes, boom, bye bye. Come, my love for you is timeless, precious items, diamonds don't compare.